Ooh. Zeus had usurped the title of supreme god from his father, the titan Kronos, and freed his brothers from inside the titan's belly. This betrayal was the fuse for the Titanomachy, also known as the War of the Titans. On one side, Kronos and his oh. titan allies. On the other, Zeus and his brothers. The gods led by Zeus had the Mount Olympus as their headquarters. So see, now they're calling them gods. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And they called the gods of generation. gods of the Olympus because their headquarters was Olympia, the mountain, right? Yes. And okay. Okay. Mine's, yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 So you have the Zeus and his army versus Kronos and his army. Which but it's his his army helped, means the person hmm? who helped Zeus was his uncle, who was a Titan. Oh wait! The betrayal. Betrayal. Yeah. Okay, so but most so base but the rest of the so Zeus is basically fighting his father and his uncles and aunties. Yes. Okay. Okay, cool. Let's continue. And I thought Bollywood dramas got into it. No. <laughs> <laughs> and therefore became known as gods of Olympus. Yes. Whereas Kronos and the Titans were lodged in the Mount Othries. Kronos's army had a general, the mighty Titan Atlas. Who would lead the attacks ah. against the gods of Olympus, Zeus? So Atlas is the person who holds up the sky. That's mm, gonna be. Not, that's gonna not be. Not yet. And that's yes. why we call maps atlases. Right, right. Um, but that we know that th we know which side is gonna win because we know Atlas got a punishment, which is holding. Does he hold Earth or he holds the whole universe? He holds the sky up from collapsing on the Earth. Okay, that's his and punishment. Then, and then Zeus's baby, Hercules, is going to have to do that one day himself. Okay. Um, I have a question. Who yeah. was holding the sky up before Atlas's punishment? I don't know. Okay. All right. All right. Um, yeah. So the we. The guy was Uranus. Oh, wait. So Atlas is holding Uranus up? <laughs> you you can't help it. It's it's kind of cute. Okay. Wait, wait. We have we have Katie saying something. Hold on. Uh, Katie saying the thing is the Titans are also technically gods, just the previous generation of gods. Both Titans and, and the Olympus are supposed to be gods. Okay. So we're no, what I'm country. saying is that they're all deities, and mm. the Titans are deities, the gods are deities, but they're distinct mm. it's just semantics let me hold your ass you guys okay continue let's continue aware of the power of the titan who would lead the attacks against the gods of olympus zeus aware of the power of the titan army looked for reinforcements in the tartarus where he unleashed so he's going back to the first womb jail He's looking for reinforcements in the womb jail. Wait. No, who are these people? These were these were from one of the early on the first Titans. Yeah, this is before the womb jail. This is like no, no, Tartarus. Gaia. Is, Tartarus is the womb jail. Oh wait, so, so he he's goes looking for reinforcements in Tartarus. In the womb. He's looking for reinforcements in the womb jail. In the womb. So how does that work? Do you go like, "Hey, Gaia, don't mind me. Just, oh. look, just going inside. Just oh. you, you just do your, you just do you. I'm just like peeking inside, looking to see if I could find any gods inside here for reinforcement. Mm. I'm like gonna stick my head into your vagine, looking mm -hmm. for gods. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, okay. All right. It's like your grandma too. Right. Hey Gaia, do you happen to have any gods hey, up your? Hi Grammy, hi Granny, do you happen to have any gods up your vagine that I could use in my army? <laughs> Thank you. I'll help your Gram. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, let's go. <laughs> the powerful Cyclopses. Ooh. They, in gratitude, forged incredible weapons for the gods. Zeus was granted his thunder and lightning. Poseidon received a trident capable of causing terrible storms and earthquakes. Pause. And got to... 
go back. That's that trident is where the devil gets his trident from Christianity. Well, because, Hades also has a trident. Technically, it's a bident. Because it has two prongs. No, that's Hades has two. Poseidon yeah. has three. Right? Yes. So when the Christians started looking at things that are unchristian, they looked at every every other religion, and mm -hmm. they come out like, everything that is not Christian is bad. So everything that is not Christian is satanic or witchcraft. And Poseidon had a trident, so I guess the devil now has a trident. So I think, like, I think that's how it works, which is very simplistic. But hey, that's Christians for you. Um, and also, this is why, like, witches have have cats because yeah. Egyptians have cats. Egyptians worship cats. Oh, and again, pagan. Pagan is bad, and pagan means like everything that is satanic or witchcraft comes from other religions. And therefore, witches be witches have cats. Um, I think that's how it works, but let's continue. <laughs> Who's your favorite, Zeus, Poseidon, or Hades? Um, a Gaia. She seems to be a, a god bank in her, like, like my deposit gods and withdraw no, gods. No, but out of the three, oh, the trilogy. Okay. Who'd you pick? Zeus? Zeus, obviously. Or Zeus. He... Transgender Zeus. For sure. Like, yeah. Wait. Am I am I am I enabling rape culture by saying by saying to be honest, Zeus? they're kind of all on that tip. So Okay. Okay. Um wait, what was my options? Zeus, Zeus? Poseidon, or Hades. I need to know more about Poseidon and Hades to be able to decide. Hades so, is my favorite. Okay, I, I feel like I feel like that's going to be the darkest one, and I like dark, so I'm pretty sure that's going to be. My I'm kind of obsessed the with the story of Hades and Persephone, but we, we can get into that on a different day. Right. Okay, okay. Capable of causing terrible storms and earthquakes, and Hades got the helmet of terror, which gave him the power of invisibility. The two armies were on a... It's funny. I've always known it to be just called the Helm of Darkness or the Helm of Invisibility. But anyways. Wait, that's Harry Potter. That's like the Cloak of Invisibility. I mean, that's not really specific enough, though. Like, the idea of a magical garment that can make you invisible appears, like, everywhere. Okay. This is the first time I've seen it in mythology. So but I don't know much. Boys? Yes. <laughs> like facts. facts um of terror which gave him the power of invisibility the two armies were on a collision course when they met the noise was so raucous and it trembled the universe Whoa. earthquakes volcano eruptions and typhoons ruled the earth during the battle zeus unleashed his powerful lightning whereas the titans threw entire mountains against the gods Ooh. the battle between the gods and the titans was lasting for almost 10 intense years of one-on-one -on -one clashes and the titans appeared to have an advantage mm. zeus decided to unleash the dreaded hecatonchires who were giants with 100 arms and 50 heads <sighs> the so this, again the hecatonchires was one of the first titans this is one of the first children of Gaia and Uranus. That is not convenient for a fight. A hundred heads? Oh, wow. What are your heads going to do to me? Like, this is the most, the least agile it's god the I've arms. ever seen. Yes, but like, it's just so, so inconvenient. I could just like push you and you're just going to fall. You're like, you're not going to have your, where is your center of gravity? I was about to say, where's the center of gravity? <laughs> It's not. It's not. A, it's not the best way. It's not the best anatomy to have to go into a battle. Like, what is this gonna do? Like, oh my god! I, 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 here's the thing. Um, this reminds me of guess what? Book of Revelation with all the eyes and all the heads and all the arms and all the feathers like just like you know how well, are in, you thinking of the vision of the angels and seraphs that ezekiel had 
No, I'm thinking of a book of Revelation where like you have things that have like you just add swords coming out of people's mouths and think people have multiple heads and multiple arms. Oh, you mean multiple... desert fever dream? No, I'm thinking like <laughs> kindergarten writing. Like you know how you know you mean in kindergarten when you're trying to draw a like a badass like epic mm -hmm. monster and you just like and, hear like and, and it has like a hundred <laughs> arms and 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 <laughs> And a hundred mm -hmm. eyes, and, and and that swords are really big. <laughs> and, and one of his arms is a sword, and the other arm is a gun, and there's like laser coming out of his eyes, right? So again, I know, like I know, everybody wants to pretend that everything with ancient mythology is epic, but this is like kindergarten level writing, in my opinion. Okay, mm. so you know, if, if the if the the people who wrote the Book of Revelation, if there was like you know how like sword comes out of someone's mouth i'm you know i'm pretty sure like if they were like writing it now they would have like machine gun arms <laughs> or something like that okay but yeah let's continue horrific creatures had a decisive impact on shifting the war the titan army panicked and demoralized ran away defeat <sighs> was inevitable zeus with his powerful lightning dropped chronos to his knees the gods sentenced the Titan Kronos and his allies to a life sentence at the Tartarus and ordered the Hecatonchores oh, to... So Kronos is going back in the tummy jail. Wait, why does the tummy... Why does the... Why is this... Is this the gate... Is this the vagine? It looks pretty <laughs> epic. <laughs> I, Holy crap. No, is this... If this is the gateway to the womb of Gaia, that means this door is the vagine. That means it's her cervix. That means that that thing head that's the clit, that head thing up there no, is the clit. Oh. The cervix is inside. Well, the top of the clit is outside. Okay, but that's pretty epic. Look at all so of So they're this. going back in Tartarus. They're going back in the womb jail. Guard the powerful gates built by Poseidon to hold the Titans. But Zeus was holding gates. Hold on, pause. Built by Poseidon. Gates and ordered the Hecatonchores to guard the powerful gates built by Poseidon. Okay, pause. How does, how does like, hey, Grandma, we're going to put, we're going to build some. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Granny. We're going to put some, if you, like, here, we're back. Thank you for the gods that you gave us from your vagine. If you don't, we're going to, we're now going to deposit some gods in your vagine. And if you don't mind, we're going to build some gates now around your vagine. Is that like is that how it works? Okay. Because the whole All thing right. was that she freed them because they were like causing her so much pain. Wait, so how come she's not gonna be upset now? That about is this not gonna cause her pain? I don't know. Hmm. There's some bias here. Yeah. Okay. To hold the Titans. But Zeus was holding a special punishment for the Titan Atlas, See? who had led the Titanic troops. He was sentenced to sustain the weight of the earth and his back for all eternity. Zeus strengthened himself as the god of gods. However, Pause. Gaia. Okay, I'm very confused, okay? Because I thought Atlas holds the sky, not the earth. They said He said earth. And I also, in many different imageries, like statues of Atlas, I've seen him having the earth on his back. Mm -hmm. And I also seen him having, instead of the the sphere not being earth the sphere actually being the stars and the the whole what is that thing called like the where dome the, of the earth the no like the dome where the sun and the planets and like the entire universe so i've like is he supposed to be holding the earth on his back i mean here's the thing the ancient imagery of atlas like it's a it's a sphere it's not like flat right so i don't know if back then they knew that the earth is like a sphere so i don't think uh um, well, here's the it... deal so this is what wikipedia is telling me when the titans were defeated many of them were confined to tartarus but zeus condemned atlas to stand at the western edge of gaia so stand at the western edge of the earth and hold up the sky on his shoulders that makes more so sense it's not that he's holding up the entire planet it's they do and see the way that they describe it is as the earth is flat because he's holding up on the western edge of the flat earth 
he's holding up the sky. Mm. So that imagery that we see everywhere where, where he's holding a sphere on his back, is that a modern depiction or is that an ancient depiction? I think because, so. Okay, okay. It says, in fact, Atlas stands at the western edge of the world holding up the heavens, not the earth. Hmm. It's That's not a... the earth as detailed by a sphere. Um... Oh, yeah. So uh, AJ is saying, yeah, Atlas holds the earth. The earth. Hercules took it over temporarily in exchange for help in getting the golden apples. Yeah, that's yeah, a different that story. We need to get there. to that story at some point. I don't I, I don't think we're going to cover that part today. But yeah, yeah, uh -huh. we need to get to Hercules story with Prometheus as well at some point. That's a more that's a very interesting story. But yeah, let's continue. Some say that the sky was placed directly on his shoulders. Others, however, are more merciful claiming that Atlas actually holds the two pillars that keep the earth and the sky apart. So mm. that's why he's often depicted with pillars. Interesting. So he's Interesting. either holding up the sky directly on his shoulders or he's holding up the pillars that keep them separate. Mm. Okay, okay. All right, let's continue. That's Gaia? The mother yes. strengthened himself as the god of gods. However, Gaia the mother of the fearsome titans was angry with the incarceration of her children and plotted a vengeance <gasps> against zeus wait a second that was done the the vagine, the vagine gates were done without her consent yes Ooh. well so she it, was it like, didn't say anything about consent she's just like i don't like you imprisoning my children inside my vagine yeah Wait, so uh, wait, uh, these are the same children that she managed to get out before, right? The same, this is the same people. Well, one of them, she let out Kronos. Yeah, so they're back. Wait, so Kronos is back in her mom's womb for the third time? No, Kronos isn't. He died. Sorry, 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 wait. So, okay, some of these people are back inside. Wait, no, no. Uranus huh? died. Kronos is back in the womb jail. That's he's what like, I'm saying. He's See, back, I, back, back again. Yeah, so for the third time. So first time when he was like a fetus, he, he was born and then he got out. Second time he got he got in there because Uranus put Kronos inside um, the his, his mom's vagine and he got jailed in there. And then he, bre he broke fr free and he punished Uranus by cutting up his balls uh, and then he his child his own son now defeated him in a 10-year battle and his own son is now put going and telling him to go back into his mom's vagine for a third time and this time with enhanced gates so that he can't come out wow imagine going out yeah. back to your mom's like, three times They're like he like he's the mayor of his own mom's Regime. He's like, <laughs> I rule. <laughs> okay, let's continue. And also subscribe to our newsletter because if we get removed from all these uh, platforms, at least we could reach out to you. And guys, by the way, if you subscribe to our newsletter, you get a free copy. Uh, why there's not, where's your copy, Susanna? Get it, get it, get it. We're doing promotion. You get a free, it's not even promotion, it's free. Okay, so if you subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description, you get a free copy of Why There's No God. Ah, come on, like I'm handing it out for free. Okay, it's a bestseller on Amazon and you get it for free. So subscribe to our newsletter and you get a free copy of Why There's No God sent to you. Link in the description.